the Panama Canal, the path that transformed international trade standards. Today, the waterway is preparing the delivery of the expanded Panama Canal. A third lane is built for the transit of large Neo-Panamax vessels while the navigational channels are deepened and widened. 2015 is a decisive year for the expansion. With more than half of the job done, the masterwork enters its final leg. The third set of locks project, the expansion's most complex, is now focused on electromechanical installation that will take the project into its final stage. The installation of 16 rolling gates began in December 2014 with their insertion into the lockheads in the Atlantic and Pacific complexes. At the same time, the project continues with the installation of the 152 valves that will control the water flow in the culverts and chambers. The construction of 32 buildings continues as the pour concrete volume reaches over 4 million cubic meters and the water saving basins, which will allow a 7% less water usage than the current locks, are clearly defined. Three dams are being built at the north end of the Pacific side project. One of them has been completed, and the remaining two are on their final phase. The filling of the locks began this year, marking the start of the compliance and operation testing period. In the Pacific Access Channel, a few meters from the locks dams, lies another important structure of the expanded canal. Bordinken 1E, a 2.3 kilometer long dam located west of the Pedro Miguel locks. It will work as a barrier between the current navigation channel and the access to the third set of locks. This new access, known as the Pacific Access Channel, will be 9 meters higher than the Miraflores Lake. 50 million cubic meters of dirt and rock were excavated from the entrance of the Culebra Cut to the new locks in order to create a new navigation channel. Culebra Cut, the historical 13-kilometer-long strip, has been dredged to deepen and make it fit for the navigation of larger ships. A similar task is being carried out on Gatun Lake, which was the largest artificial lake at the time of its creation. Its navigational course is being widened and deepened by Panama Canal dredging forces. To ensure safe and expedite navigation, a total of 33 range towers are being erected to replace the lighthouses along its banks. Gatun Lake's maximum operating level will be raised 45 centimeters to improve water supply for the expanded canal operations. This will add 200 million cubic meters of water to our reservoir. Seven years have passed since the inauguration of the Panama Canal expansion program initiated and it continues forward at full speed. The expanded canal is now in its countdown phase, where every component, every cubic meter of concrete, of excavated and dredged rock contributes to the progress of the flagship project of our young nation. A century after its inauguration, the Panama Canal will give the world a wider path between the seas.